Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Gino Haunter, and today's video will be about my top 5 favorite animatronics from Spirit Halloween 2012. This will be a brand new series I do on my channel, where I simply talk about my 5 personal favorite props from each year of Spirit, and in no consecutive order either. So I decided to start off with 2012 for it being one of my top favorite years from Spirit, from the effects using each display to the props made that year, it all came together to forever be known as a classic year in Spirit history. Now let's get started with the list. Kicking off the list with number 5 is Wolf Spitter. The Wolf Spitter animatronic is a werewolf chewing ferociously on a severed leg as he rises up and shoots water from his mouth at unsuspecting guests. Some of my favorite key details for the character are the unnatural and over-exaggerated snarl on his face. I know people may not like this design choice for it not being realistic, but I enjoy it a lot. His piercing yellow eyes can really signify to not mess with this guy. One flaw with the prop is with his water sh shooting mechanic. It tends to not work properly in most cases, with it only shooting a few inches out or not spitting at all. However, this little issue doesn't replace my love for the prop. It's honestly the best werewolf character we've ever seen, and I don't think any other werewolf prop can top this as being a better animatronic than of the wolf spitter. Coming in with number 4 is Grave Mourner. Now the Grave Mourner is a very interesting piece in terms of the animation. It's essentially a zombie woman in the black wedding gown that lifts herself up slowly to have the viewer only face her back until she quickly snaps around and faces the viewer to reveal her grotesque and zombie-like face. The, the animation really sells it to me. There's just so much going on with her lifting up, spinning around, and then retrieving back down until she is activated again. Her clothing doesn't have too much detail. She's simply wearing a black dress with a veil covering her face. A cool touch to her is her eyes lighting up. I'm not one to usually enjoy light up eyes on too many props, but she works perfectly with them. I don't have any nitpicks with this particular item. It is a great addition to 2012 and I hope I, I can obtain one someday. Here we are with number 3, with this spot belonging to Ghost Girl. To go along with the trend of unique animatronics I listed thus far, Ghost Girl is half inflatable and half animatronic. So since she is half inflatable, she doesn't accompany an over astonishing amount of detail with her body and arms, but I personally do not think that she needs it. I love how her design goes from a classic ghost body to this unearthly face of a girl with her mouth gaping open. It really supports her as a character and can almost give insights as to her backstory. Maybe she wants to be set free from the torture of being a spirit? Who knows? While there are no complaints in her design, I have noticed a lot of issues in the arms not rising up all the way upon activation. It isn't a big deal, but it would still be nice if her arms didn't have that issue. Number 2 goes to Popping Goblin. This mischievous little devil hides behind a jack lantern until he pops out from behind the pumpkin to scare trick or treaters away. The execution of this prop is simply perfect, honestly. I enjoy how it gives off a vintage vibe to it with the orange and black striped outfit, as, as well as the creature itself being a goblin. We do not really get many goblin props, Popping Goblin is an amazing example of a goblin animatronic done right. It pops out pretty fast too, so it would definitely scare a more younger audience for sure. Again, the mechanics are rather weird on this one, and do tend to fail from time to time. The back of the pumpkin pushes out to make way for the goblin to pop up from, but this mechanism doesn't always work. But this mechanism doesn't always work. Some models even began to smoke after the mechanism gave up working. However, this still does not obstruct my love for this guy. Before I get to number one, I thought I would share a few honorable mentions. I would love to own both of these and any of the others on this list, but they don't live up to number one, which is the Headless Horseman. While we're not an animated prop, he still has so much to offer to anyone looking for a prop that screams Halloween. The jack lantern he holds has like a very well sculpted face and it even lights up. He also holds a bloodied up hatchet in his other hand, and the blood stained pattern continues from his neck and down his cloak. His boots even have a bit of cool attributes to it to add on to the realism. I'm a huge fan of the Headless Horseman character and prefer having just a horseman himself as just a full fledged out prop rather than one on his horse. All in all, Headless Horseman is a fantastic piece and lives up to be one of my favorite spirit props and lives up to be one of my favorite props spirit has ever sold of all time. Thank you guys for watching this video and for hearing my opinions on all my favorite 2012 spirit Halloween characters. If you would like to see more videos like this, please suggest the years I should do next down in the comments below. 
stay spooky.